Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to find the projections of a inclined line and also we will find the traces of it. Let us take the given data. An ATMM long line AB, the name of the line is AB, it is ATMM long, is inclined at 30 degrees to the HB and 45 degrees to the VP. The end A, capital A in AB line, the end A is 20 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. Okay, A position has given. Draw the projections of the line and also find its traces. For doing this problem, first write the given data. So, AB line length is how much it is? 80 mm. Just mark here, it is given 80 mm or 8 centimeters. Okay. And then A position has given, A is 20 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. Okay. And what are the angles given? The line AB is making 30 degrees to the HP and 45 degrees to the VP. Okay, this is the given data we have written. After writing the given data, whenever two angles are coming, okay, same line, AB line is making two angles. One angle is with the horizontal plane, one angle with vertical plane. Okay, here we have to take two assumptions, first assumption and second assumption. We have to take instead of two, only one angle, initially, angle with HP. Okay, I am taking in first assumption, angle with HP is 30 degrees. Okay, the other angle I am considering 0 degrees to the VP. Okay. In next assumption, I am taking angle with VP here, 45 degrees to VP and 0 degrees to HP. Like that, I am making two assumptions. Okay. Here, for doing the projections, keeping this first coordinate like this for our convenient. So, this is the line, this is the A point, this is the B point. This length of the line is 8 centimeter. Okay. First, we need to mark A position. A is 20 mm above HP. As I told, this is the horizontal plane, this is the vertical plane. Okay, this A point is 20 mm above the horizontal plane. This gap is 20 mm. Okay, and then 10 mm in front of VP. Okay, so this gap the from vertical plane to this gap is 10 mm. Okay, so first we need to mark the A position. Forget about how the line will be. Okay, just assume only A point is there. We need to mark front view of A and top view of A. Okay, first mark the front view of A point. Okay, this is, if we see from this side, it is a front view, we can see on the vertical plane. Whatever view is coming on vertical plane, it is a front view. Whatever view is coming from the top, it is coming on the horizontal plane. Okay, first mark A point. So, A point is 20 mm above HP. If we see from front, we can see this 20 mm gap and we can mark A point on the vertical plane. For front views, we are giving A dash, okay, small A dash, about 20 mm. We can see the A dash point here. So, we have to tilt this horizontal plane in downward direction for getting the 2D view. Okay. So, this is 20 mm gap. We need to mark A dash. Okay. So, A dash and A coming on the same projector line. After marking front view A dash. Okay. Mark the top view. Top view is, it is 10 mm in front of VP. We can see the top view here. Okay. So, take, this is the top view. So, from top we can see this 10 mm gap. From the front, we can see this 20 mm. Always remember whenever this is coming above HP means here above XY line. Just remember like that. 10 mm in front of VP means below XY line. Okay. Always remember A dash and A should come on the same line. It is called projector line. Okay. After marking A dash A point, okay, take the first assumption. Okay. So, I will take here first assumption. In first assumption, line is making 30 degrees to the horizontal plane. And then 0 degrees to VP. 0 degrees means parallel to VP. So, it is making 30 degrees with HP. And uh, it is parallel to the VP. Okay. Because it is making 0 degrees with VP means parallel to VP. And it is making 30 degrees to the horizontal plane. So, front view is coming here. And top view is coming. We can see the horizontal line here. Okay. Any inclined line, if you see from top, it is getting like horizontal line. Okay. Now, in the front view, we will get the two length of the line. Two length means total length of the line. First, do the total length of the line. Okay. And in the top view, we don't know the length of this horizontal line here. First, do the two length. It is front view. How much length the given line is? 8 centimeter. Okay. Here, do the 30 degrees line. Okay. This is 8 centimeter. By using compass, mark 8 centimeter. Give the end point B dash. Front views we are giving small a dash, small b dash like that. In the top view, 
as I told it is getting like horizontal line okay here so just do the line always remember a dash a should come on the same line and b dash b should come on the same vertical line these are called projectile lines so this is the first assumption here and this line is making 30 degrees to the horizontal plane and parallel to vp okay this is the first assumption take the second assumption here in it just i am doing separately okay after that we will combine both so first mark a dash as it is same diagram same a position here i am doing now in it what we are assuming line is making 45 degrees to vp and parallel to hp zero degrees means parallel to hp now line is our line line is making like this 45 degrees to the vertical plane and uh, parallel to the horizontal plane like this okay in the top view we can see the inclined line in the front view we can see the horizontal line okay in the top view we can see the true length of the line 8 centimeter how much angle it is 45 degrees okay so i am doing separate diagram that's why we can see the inclined line here just take 8 centimeter line here the angle is 45 degrees okay mark 8 here you will get give new points instead of b b dash give b1 here okay and then in the front view we can see the horizontal line inclined line looking like horizontal as i told a dash a should come on the same line and uh, b1 this line is coming like this okay here i'm giving b1 here i'm giving b1 dash okay so these two assumptions we are making always remember angle here th this angle is with hp horizontal plane this angle is with vertical plane okay the two assumptions here let us combine these two diagrams for getting the projections first do the xy line of any length we can call this line as reference line also here i did the line and mark the a position a dash is 20 mm above hp 10 mm in front of vp okay in both assumptions a position is same here mark a dash and a 20 mm already i kept here this is a dash and 10 mm in front of vp this is a just do one projector line and mark a dash a after that take 30 degrees line of 8 centimeter take 30 degrees here so in this direction take 8 centimeter now mark b dash here now drop the line here up to a take a dash a is a reference line at b dash do the line of some length and take this is a reference line here at a do the horizontal line now do the intersection point is here b dash you have marked here b okay now we did this first assumption diagram do the second assumption diagram here at a take 45 degrees line of 8 centimeter degrees so in this direction 8 centimeter do this name is b1 do the line vertical line projectile line up to a dash horizontal line first we will do here horizontal line up to some length after that take this is a reference line and produce a line at b1 up to this horizontal line we are getting this is b1 in the front view it is b1 dash so this angle is initially 30 degrees and this angle is 45 keep arrows for both angles okay so here we have combined these two assumptions here as i told this is a ab line it is making 30 degrees with the horizontal and again the same line is treating 45 degrees with vp okay the, this angle now wherever first initially this angle again it is treating like this this b point is moving on the same plane okay whatever angle is given it is moving on the same plane this plane is looking like line locus of b point okay both in the front view as well as in the top view so at b dash 
and B1 do the horizontal lines take this is the reference line just do one locus of B here in the front view similarly at B1 also do the locus line of B point in the top view so if you are combining these two that is it is making 30 with horizontal plane again it is making 45 with the VP so this is a final position of the line if you see from front if you see from top it is looking like inclined line in the front view as well as in the top view for getting this line what I'm doing means whatever front view is there I'm tilting in upward direction up to this line because B is moving on the same plane on the same line take this as a radius till this in upward direction okay. wherever it is touching take that point is so take this point is instead of B and B1 we can use some other name also B2 dash I am giving join this A dash B2 dash it is a final front view okay. and then we can measure this angle also how much the final front view is making with the horizontal plane this angle is 48 degrees okay now in the question sometimes they may ask how much this final front view is making angle this angle is just do an arc here this is making 48 degrees this is a final front view if you want you can measure this length by using the scale you can give the length also in case if they are asking in the exam some 5.6 centimeters 56 mm okay similarly we need to find the top view also final top view whatever this length till this length up to this line by using the compass take this as the radius and just do an arc here so take this intersection point is b2 join a and b2 it is the final top view okay we can measure this length if they asked in the question it is 6.8 centimeters 68 mm okay this length is you can measure the angle also how much this final top view is making angle this angle is 55 degrees okay so you can mark this angle also so this is the final front view this is the final top view if you want to check whether this procedure is correct or not here as I told A dash A should come on the same projectile line similarly final B2 dash and B2 should come on the same vertical line we can measure by using the roller scale whether the two points should come on the same line or not just take this as a reference line and till the scale you, if you check both B2 dash and B2 should come on the same line Okay, it is one of the process of checking the answer is correct or not so this line should make 90 degrees with the xy line so you check at this line this is showing 90 degrees okay so this is making 90 degrees whatever we did the answer it is it will give the correct values okay these are the final projections and here we need to find the traces of these projections okay forgetting it whatever final front view is come coming extend it up to the xy line Okay. just take this final front view just do one line like this okay wherever it is touching that is a horizontal trace in the front view okay similarly a dash b dash like that we are marking we are marking h dash here front view extended part is touching at one point it is a horizontal trace in the front view that is that's why horizontal trace means small h h dash always remember now similarly extend this final top view like this up to the xy line like this so wherever it is touching it is a vertical trace small v so after getting v here just extend this final top view in this direction so same line extend up to like this okay, up to some height so we got h dash here for getting h do the vertical line because h and h dash should be coming on the same line a dash a should come on the same line like that take this is the reference line at 
like H dash do the vertical line so this vertical line is touching this line at H small H okay so horizontal trace that will be horizontal trace and view okay for getting the V dash okay at V take the same reference line at V also do the line okay within this line like this so this is a V dash so always mark the final front which touching at H dash final top which touching at V okay so extend these lines at H dash do the vertical line remember one thing H dash H and V dash we should come on the same line okay and mark the given dimension here A point is 20 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP and mark the angles also this line is making 30 degrees with the HP and 45 degrees to the VP and the line length is 80 mm in the front view as well as in the top view if they are asking what is the final front view is making angle mark this angle and measure this length and do the parallel line here dimensional line parallel to this line measure this value and mark at the middle of the dimensional line similarly you measure this final top view length by using scale and mark this length on the dimensional line there should be at least one centimeter gap between the final front view and dimensional line okay so this is the process of doing the projections as well as finding its traces if you like this lecture please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching